In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can track custom events with the help of Google Tag Manager and forward them onto your Facebook Pixel. All and more coming up right after this. Hey there and welcome back to another video of measureschool.com teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and in our last lesson we have set up our Facebook base tracking code with the page tracking code and now we are ready to actually send in more sophisticated information such as interactions that our users take on our website into Facebook. Now Google Tag Manager is the perfect tool to do this because we can listen to certain interactions on our page and then forward them on to our Facebook Pixel for example or other tools like Google Analytics and so on. But since we are here in our Facebook Tracking Pixel video series, we want to dive in on how to send in events with the help of Google Tag Manager. So let's get started. Welcome back to our demo shop. Now in this video, we're gonna deploy some events to Facebook with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now in the last video, we have already set up our tags, our base pixel code, and then our page view tag. This is what we need in order to deploy custom events. What are custom events? Well, when we go over to our Facebook pixel, go back to the setup steps here, we went to manual installation. And if you click on continue, we actually go to the event tracking of Facebook. Now events are interactions such as add to cart or purchase buttons. So certain interactions that you want to send explicitly to Facebook and they have certain events predefined. So for example, view content, the search, initiate checkout, add to cart or the purchase. So you can use one of these predefined events and see them in the interface later. You could also use a custom event. So if that doesn't fit to your case that you want to track, you could customize it even further, which you can learn about more in the help section of Facebook here. Now in our case, we just want to go with the standard event here. Let's go with the add to cart because that's something that we can track on our demo shop right here. And then you can send in any kind of other event parameters such as the conversion value. In our case, that could be the price here or the currency. I won't do this for now because it complicates our tag setup. But if you want to get that data into Facebook, you can certainly do that. So let's copy this code here and just go over to tags. This will be our Facebook event tag by two cut buttons. We'll choose our custom HTML tag again and implement our code. So this will track an add to cart click. As the trigger, we need to define the right add to cart click. Now, this usually takes longer to do because we need to do some testing here. If you want to find out more how to track button clicks, we go through an example in our video on button click tracking, which I'm also going to link up in the description below. For now, I'm just going to Go quickly through the steps here. I'm gonna track the link clicks, go with some clicks, and in our case, we don't have our variables defined yet, which is unfortunate. Let me just click this with all link clicks, exit here, and save this for now. Go to variables and activate my variables that I need for these link trigger. And go back to my pixel code. This is the Facebook base pixel code. Here's our add to cart. And go back into the trigger. Now I'm gonna use some clicks because I don't want to deploy this on every click that is on the page, but only on the click where the click text contains. In our case, that would be add to cart. Now again, if you want to recreate this trigger, you might as well go through the tutorial on button click tracking, which explains it in much more detail than I have just done. Let's exit out of this and go into our preview and debug mode. And if we reload our page here, we get our debug console. And if I click on this add to cart button, I'm gonna do this with the command key pressed because it will open it up in a new tab and then our page doesn't reload. 
we will be able to see what is happening inside of Google Tag Manager. And we see our Facebook event tag fired. And here we have our fifth click that was our Facebook event tag add to cart. We would also be able to see that in our Facebook pixel helper that this fired. Here's our add to cart that we fired into Facebook. And this should also then show up in our Facebook analytics. So let's go back into our Facebook analytics under the event debugging. We should here see an add to cart that was added to our event debugging list. So this data was also received by Facebook. Now you might have seen in my little test here in the Facebook pixel have a subscribe button clicked, which is not quite accurate. We didn't send this in explicitly. This is something that Facebook's pixel automatically picks up from the interactions. But if you want to have more control over your event tracking, you can send in events explicitly just like we did right here. Now, as I mentioned, there are many other events that you could send into Facebook, just a few here, or any kind of custom events. Google Tag Manager gives you actually the ability to build custom triggers for your interactions that happen on your page, such as link clicks, scrolling, form submit, YouTube views, and if an element is inside the viewport. So you have a lot of flexibility of tracking the interactions of your user and sending that onto Facebook for custom audiences or conversion tracking. We have a ton more videos on this channel on how to build these custom triggers. So I won't go into detail right now, but I'd encourage you to check out our playlist on event tracking with Google Tag Manager. For this add to cart click, our tracking works fine. So we can go ahead and submit a version. So our container will actually be published to all our users and goes live onto our website. So now it will be available to all our users and our users will be tracked on our website. In the next video, we're gonna show you how you can accomplish conversion tracking or this purchase tracking with the help of Google Tag Manager to send data to Facebook. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can send in information such as interaction tracking, like uh, button click tracking or form submit tracking or scroll tracking onto your Facebook pixel. Now it really depends on your website on what you send into Facebook. You certainly don't need all the information in there, but it can be really helpful once you want to optimize or build a custom audience based on one or the other interaction. Now we are not done here because we really need to take care of one important interaction that the user can take on the website and this is conversion tracking. And this is what we're gonna discover in the next video. So if you're ready, head over to our next video and if you haven't yet, then why not subscribe to our channel because we'll bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.